Hi and welcome to Finance and Banking Explained. So today we'll be looking at opening a bank account in Germany as a non-resident, a resident or a international student. So to open a bank account in Germany, you need the following. One, an application form of the bank that you're applying to. This can be online or this could be at the bank of your choice. Two, you need a valid EU passport or a German residency paper. This will allow you to stay in the country or stay in the EU for that matter. And three, it's proof of address or registration. You will get this when you register in Germany or living in a particular city. You will have to go to the city registration office to get this. And for the income statement, now this is not required, but if you want a credit card attached to your account or if you want a overdraft capability, then you will need to prove how much you are making, what your employment status is, whether it's fixed contract or part-time, they also want to know that if you're self-employed, how much have you been earning for the past three years? Now, if you have all of these documents ready to go, this will make the whole process a lot easier. If you don't, if you are missing one of these documents or some of these documents, you can still open a German bank account. However, it will become a little bit more difficult and I will also explain this for all the different situations. So let's dive right in. First up, opening an account as a resident. So when you move to Germany for either short term or long term, you can become a resident of Germany. Now you still get to keep your nationality, however you might lose some privileges in your home country, like part of your pension. So for the years that you live in Germany, you will not be building your pension in the host country or your home country. When you move back, that will give you a slight gap. But to keep things simple, we'll just be focusing here on when you have decided to become a resident in Germany. So to open a bank account as a resident, you can do this either online or at the bank branch. Doing this online is the fastest and your account will be ready in minutes. It will however take two to four business days before you will receive your debit card and it's best to apply for your bank account first and maybe uh, your credit card later if you want to because this will just speed up the whole process. If you still really do want a credit card, I have a couple of videos on how to get a credit card from different German banks. I will link these down below. Now opening a bank account online requires you to complete four steps. One is to choose your bank account type and whether or not you want a credit card or an overdraft capability. Two is to enter your personal information. And what's important here is your tax identification number, not to be confused with your tax number. Uh, your tax identification number is attached to you and this is permanent. It will follow you throughout Germany. Whereas your tax number is just applied to your business. So if you're a freelancer or you have a business, then depending on where you live in Germany, you will get a tax number. So if you move the business, and yourself to another part of Germany, you will get a new tax number, but your tax ID number will always stay the same. And you get this tax ID number when you first register to live in Germany with the city registration office. And if you don't have it, or if you lost it, you can just apply again and they will uh, send one over to your address. Step three is to agree with all the policies and laws that apply to the German banking sector. This involves acknowledging that you understand the account balance guarantee, which means that the German government will guarantee your account balance up to 100,000 euros in the event that the bank would become insolvent. The second part of that is the money laundering, where the bank will check your activities, your withdrawals and your transfers to see if any unusual activity takes place and they will report this to the IRS if needed. And the third policy is about the credit rating system where they will collect your credit card data, your overdraw data, if you pay your bills on time, things like that, just to collect all the information to determine what your credit rating would be. And if you later wanna apply for a mortgage, this will definitely be factored in. So make sure that you pay your bills on time and that you always pay your credit statement at the end of the month. Now the fourth step is to identify yourself, which can be done with video verification or or with post ident when you do it with video verification you can get your bank account ready on the same day it will only take a few minutes and with post ident you will have to download the verification form take this to the local post office have them sign it and verify that you are in fact who you say you are and then send it to the bank who will then accept you as a bank account holder now this will take two to three days to complete so if you want speed definitely go with the video verification now after you've completed all of these steps you can activate your account and you only have to wait for your debit card before you can start making withdrawals and make transfers the next option is to open an account as a non-resident 
So if you are not a resident in Germany, this means you do not have a tax identification number. And this makes it impossible to go through the regular registration process. If you are staying in Germany for more than three months, you are obligated to register at the city registration office. So I would definitely suggest doing this if you are planning to stay in Germany for a longer period of time. Now, if you're just a frequent visitor to Germany and you want a German IBAN account, to make payments between German clients or maybe German businesses or German friends. And this definitely makes it a lot easier by having a German IBAN. Then you have basically only the option to go with mobile or online banks. Now the benefits of these banks are that they don't require you to live in a specific country. You can live wherever you want just as long as you live within the EU. And the reason why your address is so important in the overall EU banking system is that it gives the government the opportunity to determine where you should pay your taxes and also how much taxes you should pay. So for that reason, the EU really wants to know where do you live, even if it's not in the country where your bank account is at. Now, if you want a German IBAN without living in Germany, the N26 bank is a very good option. The bank will require you to put your residency information and your tax information of the country that you actually live in. One of the extra benefits that N26 has is that it can also give you a Spanish IBAN or an Italian IBAN. So you can basically do the exact same thing for a bank account in those specific countries. The third and final option is to open a bank account in Germany as a student. And when opening a bank account in Germany as a student, you have the benefit that most banks will not charge you for this. Almost all the German banks have a free current account option for students. And this normally applies to anyone who's enrolled within a college or university and between the ages of 18 and 30 years. Now with most banks, you can also get an overdraft option if you would like some extra payment room. This will require a minimum deposit every month on your account to make sure that you can pay the overdraft amount. Now to open a bank account as a student in Germany, I would assume that you are actually living in Germany, which would mean that you are registered with the city registrations office. And this gives you the tax identification number to make the process a lot easier. If you are not already registered with the city, then you can make an appointment online to find the nearest registration office and then go there in person to register with your local city where you will be living. If you have this all taken care of, all you need is your valid EU passport or your German residency papers and your enrollment papers from the university or the college. And then you can go to any bank that you would like and just register online to get your student account. Now, if you wanna know which banks are the best, I have a video on the top German banks. So check that one out to see which bank you would like to go with. And that's it for opening a bank account in Germany. Take care.